Hello and welcome to the training video number 6 of the Visual Communication Planner. This is about the Marketing Distinguo, also known as the answer to the question why should I buy from you? But let's summarize where we are on our journey to the top of the marketing mountain. The summit is our goal. A step before that we have KPIs, even before channels and activities. We need something to share before that so we need content. And to know what to say, the main element you really need to have clear is what distinguishes your company, product or service from the competition, which is what I have defined as the marketing distinguo. The marketing distinguo is a concept as well as a process you can apply to answer one of the most important questions in marketing. What makes you different from the competition? I have also designed a card deck that helps you going through the process. The Marketing Distinguo card deck has been rewarded as one of the three best marketing innovation of 2019 at the Digital Enterprise Show in Madrid. You can buy your deck at marketingdistinguo.com. On that website you can also find a video on how to use the card deck. I'll link it in the YouTube description as well. Anyway, with the Visual Communication Planner slides, you can go through the process without the card as well. So let's see how it works. Step 1. Look for your buzzwords, such as innovation, passion or quality. You can easily find them in your current claim or website brochure. Step 2. Analyze the two or three words you have found in detail. Which are the characteristics of your products or service that concretely match those buzzwords? And what about the characteristics of your company, or the people working with you, or the industry you are in? Step 3. Write down the, those characteristics on a comparative table with your main two or three competitors. Delete those characteristics that aren't unique against your competition. And that's it. The two or three characteristics that will remain in your table define your marketing distinguo. Please note that you can complete this process for your brand or a single product and also that you should check your marketing distinguo on each market you approach. That's because different markets probably have different competitors. Let's go through our B2B example. This is the B2B example we have defined in the previous videos. Goal: New requests from proposals from manufacturing companies in Germany. KPI: The number of requests from the website from each touchpoint in 90 days. Channels and activities, a new single page website, activities on LinkedIn and Google and advertising for 90 days. Contents, step one, define the topics. Step two, prepare the content for all the channels and the activities you're going to share to reach your goal. Let's go through the marketing distinguo. So let's go through the claim. Quality is our passion. which, to be honest, doesn't mean anything, right? So the buzzwords are quality and passion. And by the way, this is a true case of study, a true example. So what about quality? They have the turning machines to reach a tolerance of plus minus three nanometers. I actually don't remember the exact number, but take it as an example. Passion. Turning machines do not work by themselves. They have passionate and knowledgeable people well trained to work on those machines. Let's go through now the comparative table. One competitor has another machines, so it cannot reach that tolerance. Another competitor has many machines and some of them could reach the tolerance, but the employees are not well trained, so they can reach a worse tolerance. So let's recap. This is the only company that can reach a tolerance of plus minus 3 nanometers. That could be already be a claim, 
but that would be the job of the unique selling proposition, which is the creative execution of the marketing distinguo. As Theodore Leavitt used to say, differentiation is the essence of competition. See you in the next video.